Eccoci, bentornati su Go Games, siamo su Final Fantasy VII Rebirth e in questo video andremo a vedere una missione secondaria. Siamo appena entrati nel capitolo 12, una volta entrati nel dodicesimo capitolo avrete la possibilità di spostarvi con il viaggio veloce dovunque voi vogliate. L'importante ovviamente è che, come nel caso qui della prateria, voi andiate vedete su un punto dove c'è scritto appunto spostamento rapido e potete farlo veramente in tutte le zone della mappa quindi adesso tutta la mappa è liberamente accessibile finalmente quindi non ci dobbiamo spostare sì col viaggio veloce ma solo in determinati punti per, per poterci spostare da una regione all'altra per cui in questo video andremo a vedere una missione secondaria vi lascio al video tolgo la cam così se volete potete anche gustare i filmati visto che magari ci sono anche delle cose da rispondere e via dicendo ma prima vi ricordo di iscrivervi al canale attivare la campanella commentare condividere lasciare like e cogliamo l'occasione per ringraziare di cuore tutti gli abbonati al canale tutti super grazie vi lascio al video Apparently the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the gold cup. So I went and signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. The cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Third with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. The following races are scheduled for today. Cloud! I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the Gold Cup! Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud. Your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... <sighs> Gee, if that ain't the stupidest... Obviously, some sore losers are trying to raise a stink. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. You tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you the royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> Gotta say... I'm surprised to see your name on the jockey list. What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace of streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. <laughs> You're... Billy, I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents. 
Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't say the story is that simple. But the truth can be one bitter drink. And you ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid. And I'll prove it to you. If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth. You're on. Peddly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance. But best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well... All I gotta do is win it all, right? Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack, which today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect the decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup.
We hope you're ready for more, ladies and gentlemen, because we're just getting started. Here comes our next race. This is turning into one heated tournament, folks. But who will be riding home with the gold cup? Only one more race remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top.
I cannot believe it! The gold cup goes to none other than Cloud Strike and Bill's Chocobo Ranch. He's taken three races in a row in an unprecedented, flawless victory. No one saw this snake in the grasslands coming, and now the racing world is sure to remember his name. <laughs> I know. Mind letting me breathe? <laughs> nice riding. <laughs> Thanks. There's a streak running bastard. You stole the title right out from under my nose. Well, Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I'd hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. Just tell me, what happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Son, do you know what kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it. But they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, none of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right till they were swimming in debt which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. <sighs> Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh, time, but that sleazy son of a bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them yeah, off yeah, to yeah. Shinra <laughs> for their experiments. Oh, Will and Claire figured it was the only <laughs> way they'd be able to save their business. So they signed up. <laughs> While later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Claire's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I. So I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings, that's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south, but they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. 
Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to, but if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Papa too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. You truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why do you make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam. ...knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this... ...but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still... ...if an opportunity did happen to come along... ...you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey... ...I'm a world-famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Uh... <laughs> you had me going there. <laughs>